The Su-57 Felon, Russia's response to Western fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-35 and F-22, is a twin-engine, single-seat, multi-role combat aircraft designed for air superiority and attack roles. Despite its advanced capabilities and stealth features, the Su-57 fleet remains limited, with operational numbers not exceeding 20 aircraft due to developmental challenges. Initially rolled out with 12 prototypes for early service in 2018, a move seen is aimed at bolstering Russian military prestige, the Su-57 aims to replace aging MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters, offering a broad munitions range for versatile combat roles. However, its effectiveness and production scale remain subjects of skepticism amid ongoing global military assessments. Everyone has heard of the F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jet. Some have even heard about the F-22 Raptor, the first stealth fighter jet in the world. The two aircraft form the tip of the spear of America's air superiority capability. But did you know that Russia has an aircraft it claims to be comparable to the US military's best, the sleek-looking Su-57 Felon is a twin-engine, single-seat, multi-role fighter jet. Designed to counter NATO's fifth-generation stealth fighter jet capabilities, the Su-57 Felon is an interesting yet troubled aircraft. Only a handful of Su-57s are in service, with the exact number unknown. According to Western intelligence estimates, the number of Su-57 fighter jets in some resemblance of operational duties likely doesn't exceed a score of aircraft. Probably the stealthier characteristic of the Su-57 Felon is its very small, almost non-existent fleet. Much like other major Russian weapons programs, the development and production of the fighter jet have been plagued by issues. As a result, the Russian aerospace forces can field only a handful of Su-57 Felon fighter jets. Out of these few fighter jets, not every aircraft is operational. The best example of this is Ukraine. The Russian aerospace forces have been extremely careful with their limited fleet of Su-57 felons despite the ongoing fighting. Although the Kremlin claims to have used Su-57 felons in strategic strike missions, there is little evidence that they have operated in contested airspace or that they have made any difference in the fighting. The Russian aerospace forces have been extremely careful with their limited fleet of Su-57 felons despite the ongoing fighting. Although the Kremlin claims to have used Su-57 felons in strategic strike missions, there is little evidence that they have operated in contested airspace or that they have made any difference in the fighting. In 2018, the Russian Ministry of Defense decided to push the first 12 fighter jet prototypes into service. That was quite an unconventional approach. Usually, militaries will order several prototypes to test performance and technology. Feedback from the testing will then influence the mass production of the weapon systems. Given that in 2018, Moscow wasn't facing any threats to expedite the delivery of the Su-57 Felon, it is likely that Russian defense officials wanted to win some propaganda points and show that Russia also has a fifth-generation fighter jet. Moscow makes a good profit every year through foreign military sales. In recent years, the Kremlin has made up to $15 billion a year from selling weapon systems to militaries worldwide. Although the war in Ukraine hasn't been the best advertisement for Russian military equipment, it keeps getting obliterated by Western weapon systems in the hands of the Ukrainian forces, the Kremlin still makes a good penny, in the range of $5 to $8 billion, from selling weapons abroad.